Now, it seems to me that uh, the elephant in the room in your particular kingdom is land, land, land. What do you say about that? Well, yeah, we've got a big challenge over land. One, the population has, it grows a lot. We, we actually do produce kids. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. And the land has been overused. Some villages have been tilled for hundreds of years. So a time comes when the land can't yield enough crop mm, to mm. feed the families. And people want to expand, but the land doesn't grow. Then there is corruption in the land offices. Then there is the weaknesses of the police. They fail to investigate land-related crimes. Then there is a lot of corruption in the courts and, and, and inefficiency. Mm. Cases don't get disposed of. Then there is political, political, political interference. Let me, be, let me be a bit democratically inclusive by uh, giving you the specific uh, question from Andrew Isavidye. Land problems in, Uganda, in Buganda are partly linked to the kingdom's style of land distribution, offer, and management. What is, what is Oiktiwa Katikiro's strategy? in the management of land ownership in Buganda. But I think the Buganda Land Board, if he talks about management of land, is the most efficient land board in the country, the most modernized, mm -hmm. using IT and all these things. I don't know whether he was referring to the 1900 agreement where the, there was distribution of land. <laughs> but we never had chaos in the 30s and 40s and 50s and 60s and 70s. Right. We had the same land system. Why is it that we have chaos now? Because there is chaos in the land offices because there is corruption. Because the police can't investigate grabbers of land and bring them to book. Because the courts can't adjudicate land cases in a timely manner. I am a lawyer and mm. before I became Katikiro, because now I'm on sabbatical as far as legal practice is concerned, I right. don't have the time. Mm. I, I prosecuted a case for 10 years involving a small piece of land and I couldn't get a judgment from the courts. You couldn't? No. And one of the parties died in the, uh, along the way. Really? So those are the challenges that we need to address. It has nothing to do with the 19 agreement or the Milo land system. Whoever believes that has got a lot to learn.